the next step of the puzzle pumpkin, uh, now that our canvases have dried, we're going to put a lid right where the grass and the sky come together. And by tracing that, now you have a nice shape for your pumpkin because pumpkins are usually rounded like that. What we're going to be doing is creating some texture today with a cup of puzzle pieces. And the easiest way to do this, uh, when you use your Elmer's glue, you're gonna untwist the orange cap so that it's open. Always make sure that the dry glue is kind of off of the top. And when you shake them upside down like a ketchup bottle, the glue will come towards the top and it'll be easier to use them. What we're gonna do to glue our puzzle pieces today is do a wiggle line right inside of where we put the pencil. And you can see that I've already started to put some pieces down. All you're gonna do at this point is take puzzle pieces and put them right inside of that glue, but you wanna keep them nice and close together. So when you're working today, make sure there's no gaps. Now they won't interlock, but I'm making them physically touch. And when I glue, I'm looking for that pencil line because I want the puzzle pieces to touch all the way to the edge. And they can even go a little bit past the pencil line. Now that you've completed your full circle, you're just gonna repeat the same step going inside of the puzzle pieces. And we're gonna repeat this process until we get the whole circle filled in. You can see that I finished filling in all of the first layer. So what we wanna do is we're creating a little bit of dimension with our pumpkin. Uh, we have a flat two-dimensional surface and we want our pumpkin to look a little bit more three-dimensional and to have some height to it. And so to make that happen, we're just gonna go ahead and do another layer. When you do this, same thing, just give it a nice little drizzle of glue all the way around the edge of the pumpkin first do a row there and as you finish that row you can continue to build yourself in until you've covered the whole pumpkin with another layer of puzzle pieces. That is the second layer of the pumpkin and we're going to go ahead and do one more layer for a total of three layers of puzzle pieces. I've just completed three flat layers of puzzle pieces. Now what we're going to do is to bring some really roundness to our pumpkin. Um, when you're trying to create this three-dimensional look on a two-dimensional surface, that is called a bas relief. And so we want this to look like a bas relief and make it look like it has a little bit of roundness like a pumpkin. So what we're gonna do this time, instead of working on the very outer ring of the pumpkin, we're gonna go ahead and add another layer of puzzle, but it's gonna be in the middle of the pumpkin. So if you notice, this time when I put the glue down, I did not put any glue on this very outer edge. I'm only gonna make a smaller circle on the inside of my puzzle pieces. And I'm gonna repeat that another time. So again, not getting any on the outer edge of the pumpkin, only working on a smaller circle right here in the very middle. And then for the very last area, which is the center of the pumpkin, I'm gonna do an even smaller circle, nice drizzle of glue, and we're just gonna put one final coat of puzzle pieces right through here. And you can finish it off with one little puzzle piece in the middle. Any extra puzzle pieces can go in your cup and you can return those to me. The next thing we're gonna glue for our pumpkins is going to be the stem. I'm gonna give you a pipe cleaner. What you're gonna do is hook it on your finger just like that. It just has a little tail. So not a big tail like that, just a little tail to it. What you're gonna do then is take it and go back to the top, back to the bottom. Now I basically have two loops at the top, just like that. Now we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and we're just gonna start to twist it from the bottom and work our way to the top. 
until we run out of pipe cleaner. You can kind of squish your top, just like the top of a pumpkin stem would be. Nice flat top. And you're gonna take this, and right at the very top of your pumpkin, add a nice glob of glue. I did it about the same size and shape as my stem is. Nice glob of glue so this will stay, and you're gonna set your um, pipe cleaner right in it, just like that. The last thing we're gonna glue on our projects today will be the vines for the pumpkin. This is pretty simple. If you take the pipe cleaner towards the bottom of your finger, and I'm not pulling hard, like I don't wanna cut my circulation off. I'm doing it nice and gently, but I'm just wrapping it up my finger until I'm out of pipe cleaner, okay? Then if you just slide it off of your finger nicely, you have this cute little spring that also looks like a vine. You're gonna have to stretch one little tail out so it's flat, so it was rounded like that. I just stretched it out to make it flat. That way it will glue to the canvas. You're gonna take a nice glob of glue. Just like that. Repeat the process for the other side. If any part of your pipe cleaner is hanging off or doing anything uh, a little bit silly, we can fix that next week after that has a chance to dry. So don't be tempted to wiggle those around and move them. Just let them rest in the glue the way they are. They will dry for next week and they'll be hard enough that we can kind of manipulate and move those around. Last thing today is super important. Please make sure that you twist the orange cap shut. Use the napkin that you were using to wipe your fingers on to wipe the top of the glue bottle off and then make sure you return that. Projects can go on the drying rack to dry and we're gonna finish it off next time by painting the pumpkin and adding some texture for the grass. Good job today, artists.